the Joel Shit Show featuring Joel Shit. Hi, and welcome to the Joel Shit Show. I'm your host, Joel Shit. So yesterday was a pretty slow news day. Let's see what happened. I went running at Campbell Park, went to Safeway, and I bought olive oil. Check it out. It looks like a fancy bottle, but actually, it's plastic. So see, here's the thing. I'm wondering whether olive oil is like liquor, where if it comes in a plastic bottle, that means it's of a low quality. I'm starting to think maybe this wasn't a good olive oil to buy. Huh? Star Original Pure Olive Oil imported? Where is it imported from? Spain, Italy, Greece, and Tunisia. It could be any of those. Packed in Spain, that's why it's imported, and then shipped out of Fresno. Good job, Fresno. Uh, I bought kitty litter. Instant action. Look, they changed their labeling. There's a blue one and a red one. The blue one says instant action. The red one says long lasting. So the blue one acts on the sink right away. And the red one, it uh, affects the stink in the long term. I don't understand that. And then I bought a loaf of bread. Check it out. Check it out. 99 cents for wheat bread. Very exciting. And then that was really about it. I watched the Sharks play the Blues, San Francisco Sharks, St. Louis Blues. And, well, what can be said? I think either they're tired of playing with Brian Boucher or they just are not very deep right now and they just get tired at the end. It's looking pretty. I don't know if he's afraid to roll out four lines or if he can't roll four lines because he's got too many people hurt. But the lack of having four lines is making some of the lines tired. And I wonder whether the minutes are catching up to them. I haven't looked at the stats. I don't know. But I wouldn't worry. Every team has this kind of stretch. Every good team, you know. And it's nothing to worry about. You'd rather them do this now. Where were they a year ago? They got Brian Campbell and they started winning. And then what happens? They lost in the playoffs again. So you say as a Sharks fan, shouldn't worry. As for me, Florida Panthers fighting for the playoffs... We'll see what happens. If they don't make it this year, it'll be very sad. Because usually they come from way back to barely miss it. But this year, they were already in the hunt, and then they would have to fall out. And that's much more demoralizing, even if the result's the same. Well, that's all the time we have today. Visit us on the web at joelshitshow.com. Email joel at joelshitshow.com.